Hello friends, family, anyone tuning in to watch today's video tour. It is November 30 of 2019 and I am in Times Square as you can see. This is looking in the north direction. Directly in front of me is uh, 46th Street. Right now there's no traffic. Traffic is held out by a light. But uh, this is uh, Duffy Square. One of the two triangles created by the intersection of Broadway Avenue and 7th Avenue creating this space called a Times Square. In just a month time from now, this place will be activated as we celebrate the welcoming of the new year. So this is looking north. This is now spanning the camera looking east. And very soon we'll also get in a view of how it's looking uh, south. Down in the distance down there, right in the middle with the orange billboards is one Times Square. That is where the ball drops on New Year's. I don't know how well we can see the top of the building, but that is where the ball is situated, the ball that drops. A tradition that started in 1904. There is another video tour in my, on my website on 5dguy.com that highlights some of the interesting aspects of this immediate center of New York. New York has many centers, this is one of them. A lot of attractions, the biggest billboard in Times Square is just directly up above over here, but the reason we are opening the lens today for this uh, guided video walk is to take a look at this monument that is directly in front over there. This is a monument that is uh, 27 feet tall by 16 feet wide. It's again a very chilly day in New York, two days after Thanksgiving. As you see, skies are clear and it's a very good opportunity to take a look at this monument here. This is a sculpture called Rumors of War and will be here only up until tomorrow. Probably tomorrow they'll take it down. It's been here since uh, no, uh, September. So it's been here for only two months and then after today really and tomorrow it will be transported to Richmond, uh, Virginia and uh, where it will be exhibited on permanent display. The artist is a man named Kahinde Wiley whose work began to attract great attention after exhibitions at a New York City museum called the Studio Museum in Harlem. The same artist who created this monument also created the official White House portraits of the former President of the United States and First Lady of the United States, well, the President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. If you visit uh, the National Portrait Gallery, you'll see those portraits of Barack and Michelle Obama created by Kahinde Wiley. Now, this is an interesting site. What we have in front of us here, this echoes uh, the monuments and the sculptures that we have in public uh, centers all over the world. Now, traditionally, the sculptures that we see in our city centers all over the world are of uh, white military figures, or it depends on the nation where you find yourself. But uh, nonetheless, this is a very iconic way to render the heroes of our society, equestrian sculptures, date back all the way to antiquity. If you visit Rome, uh, there's a very popular statue there of Marcus Aurelius. And if you visit Padua, you see a sculpture of a man last named Gata Melata, a sculpture created by Renaissance master Donatello. This sculpture here and the name has a lot of associations. We'll just uh, take a look at a couple of those associations so that we can see how creative expression is used to activate a landscape, to activate a place that is already activated with many other iconic representations. For example, right next to Rumors of War here, we see George M. Cohen. George M. Cohen is the father of Broadway, the father of Broadway theater. On the previous, on the video tour that I created a couple of years ago, I highlight some of his information and then uh, Patrick Duffy himself is directly uh, in the background down there next to the TKTS kiosk. TKTS kiosk is where you get uh, Broadway show tickets at a discount on the day of the performance. But back to Rumors of War, as again, it's only going to be here for hours now, as it will be taken down tomorrow. This is a direct reference to something that is referenced in the Bible, in Biblical Scripture, in the New Testament, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, where, the, where it reads, Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 
for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All there, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my sake's name. So very powerful passage, a passage that a lot of people are familiar with, and an association. The association that we pick up here is as it relates to people of African descent or black Americans specifically. Now, upon closer inspection, the figure that we see directly in front on top of this uh, pedestal, very high pedestal, is not of a white man, but of a black American. And as we get closer to it, we'll be able to pick up on some of those defining features that make this a contemporary figure. Not a historical figure, as so the figures that we see over on our sculptures, on our traditional sculptures, on display in our public spaces all over the world. Now, I don't know how well we'll be able to pick this up here, but maybe if I go to the other side, it'll be, we'll be able to better appreciate it. But if we notice uh, the figure's feet, we see that he's wearing Nikes. We see that he's wearing jeans, and his jeans are torn. And he's wearing his hair on the dreadlocks. basically going to read what it says here. Rumors of War is American artist Kahinde Wiley's first public sculpture and a direct response to the Confederate memorials that populate the United States. Mounted proudly on its largest long pedestal, Wiley's monumental bronze sculpture features an African-American man dressed in urban streetwear, sitting in a striking pose astride a massive horse. Rumors of War is a powerful positioning of young black men in our public consciousness and engages the national conversation around monuments and their role in telling incomplete narratives and perpetuating contemporary, contemporary inequities. So really what we have here is a, a way, a vehicle, a key that can help unlock and help resolve many of the issues that we are facing on today's society. Following its presentation in Times Square, the sculpture will travel to Richmond, Virginia, where it will be permanently installed at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Rumors of War, Wiley's largest work to date, continues the artist's career-long investigation of the politics of representation, race, gender, and power. Best known for his vibrant, large-scale portraiture, Wiley's subjects have ranged from street cast individuals the artist encountered while traveling around the world to many of the most important and well-renowned African-American figures of our generation, including the notorious B.I.G., L.L. Cool J., Carrie Mae Weems, Nick Cave, and President Barack Obama. Rumors of War is presented by Times Square Arts in partnership with the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts and Chantilly, New York. This is the visual here of this sign. In the event where anyone wants to take a closer look, I hope uh, those of you in New York or anyone who strolled through Times Square in this uh, recent time is able to take a look at this exhibit situated at the crossroads of the world. Kahinde Wiley is himself from New York. He was born here but now lives uh, elsewhere, as I understand it. Fastening at the center there is heart shaped. A lot going on in Times Square. The music that you hear in the background is from uh, these performers. This is again looking south. There we see one Times Square with the 2019 on top. Very soon that will read 2020 as we celebrate the new year from this immediate vicinity. People here are singing, there's a 
lot of vendors, there's a lot of activity. It's a very busy day in Times Square. There in the background, we see Patrick Duffy with the iconic red steps marking the roof of the TKTS kiosk. And moving further along, we now see the southern side, or the northern side of this figure, of this monument of rumors of war. Incredibly dynamic. Very innovative in regards to how things, when it comes to how things are being done today. This is a very traditional theme, but it's something that has been completely reinterpreted. And as this moves from this location here in Times Square, it'll go on to activate its new location in Richmond, Virginia, as it will be situated near an avenue where there are many Confederate uh, monuments. will help bring shape to a more equitable society. I want to thank you for your attention, thank you for your continued connection to this guy that we're making more video tours in different sections of the city, exploring the incredible iconic character of this incredible metropolis. Uh, if you've enjoyed, uh, share and keep connected. You can always log on to 5dguy.com to connect to my latest uh, to my latest works, to my latest video tours. Let me see if I can pick up another visual of the figure sure. mounting the horse here. My album. Uh, again, we see him wearing, uh, wearing his hair in dreadlocks and uh, dreadlocks tied in a ponytail. He's wearing a hoodie as well which is another, another marker of contemporary uh, urban Americans. Pretty much an urban figure marked and activated by these incredible surroundings here. This incredible backdrop, this incredible display of billboards, jumbotrons, and uh, creativity in many forms, in the form of music, in the form of the theater, in the form of shopping, in the form of museums. A lot to experience and a lot to see. Rumors of War by Kahinde Wiley. Thank you for your attention. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye-bye.